Craig Calfee had a memorable bicycle crash, one that sent him headlong into a storied career that includes stops in Santa Cruz, the Tour de France, and the jungles of the Congo, all on two wheels. Well, I've always ridden a bike, riding through the woods and just going places. I was coming down the hill and a car was crossing my lane of travel and I, I hit the car head on and flipped over and landed on my feet. I actually survived okay, but the bike didn't. And I was working a job building carbon fiber rowing shells and I was making these outriggers out of carbon tubing. And I thought, this looks like a, a fun material to make a bike out of. I should, you know, make myself a frame. So it started just to build a, a frame and a bike for myself. Back in 1987, when I built the first bike, the material carbon fiber was barely known. People had never heard of this black plastic stuff. It was just really exotic. Back then, people thought, oh, it'll just break. You know, it's too light. But I knew about the properties of the material. It was, had the highest stiffness to weight ratio of any material you can commonly get your hands on. So when I'm working with this stuff, I'm thinking, wow, this is really light, but it's still stiff. So I thought immediately, this, this is what you need in a bicycle. I was quoted in Bicycling Magazine in 1991 as saying, every bike in the Tour de France will be made of carbon fiber one day. And people laughed at me for saying that in print. Well, sure enough, fast forward nine years and it happened. This carbon fiber pioneer ignored detractors and built light, strong frames. One that got a tryout with aspiring champion, cyclist Greg LeMond. This was the sample bike that uh, we sent to his dad, who then sent it to Greg in France when he was racing over there. So this was the bike that Greg evaluated and then decided to buy 18 of them for his whole team. It was pretty shocking for us to like, okay, quickly build a sample for Greg LeMond, you know? And that was, um, you know, kind of the height of one's career is like, you know, who rides your bike, you know? Oh, Greg LeMond. The rest is cycling and bicycle building history. But building better and stronger frames led Craig Calfee to another turn in the road, a very organic turn at that. Bamboo as a bicycle material is, is really special. It grows out of the ground in a tubular form. So to me, that's just incredibly efficient. The fact that it grows in most any climate makes it available anywhere in the world. So if you want to build a bike in the middle of the Congo, you can just get some bamboo and set it up and lash it together and you can start building a bike. The carbon fiber clearly was the best material from a high performance standpoint. Now I can turn my attention to, well, what are other factors that make a better bike? With the bamboo and the wood bikes, it's like, well, how about more sustainable materials? And then the accessibility of having bamboo bikes that anybody can make. We've got a DIY kit that we're developing that anybody can call up and order a, a DIY kit and build their own bike. To me, that gets people excited and passionate about cycling, and, and that, to me, is a better bike. The recyclable cycle is a perfect idea for this age of micro-economies and increasing market reach to defeat extreme poverty. We're experimenting with business models in Africa especially where it's incredibly challenging to come up with a business model that works, something that's sustainable. The classic thing is resource extraction or finding the cheapest labor. Those are kind of the two main business activities in developing countries. What we're trying to do is see how we can get people to create a lot of value for products that they can use locally. And while Craig's work extends overseas, he always comes back to Santa Cruz County for inspiration. To me, Santa Cruz has the exact perfect climate. The scenic quality is, is unbeatable. And of course, the, the local culture here is really fun. I can't even think of a better place to live. Whether it's working with an exotic material or creating a new business model, Craig Calfee has never been afraid to stick his neck out and innovate. I guess I just roll with the punches and have the confidence that people will recognize this as the best material for this particular application. My formal training is in sculpture, 
So when you, when you do a work of art and you present it to people, they either like it or they don't. So as an artist, you're used to people either liking it or not, and you just, you roll with it.